Tom Concord Parks and Recreation says by Wednesday, most of the ponds will have a thin layer of ice, but it's going to take at least a couple more weeks before they are safe to go on. They are used to opening White Park Pond this time of year, but Mother Nature is delaying the process. Cold winter temperatures return to the Granite State this week, but the ice on ponds and lakes still isn't safe. Ponds are going to start freezing up pretty quick, but they're just not going to be safe for a little while. Warnings are clearly marked at White Park in Concord, where on Christmas Eve there was a close call. Parks and Recreation Director David Gill says a boy's dog fell through the ice. He says the young man went out and saved the dog, but he too broke through the ice. Luckily, a Parks and Recreation employee was nearby. He pulled the boy to safety. It was a close call, but it's just a reminder. It is thin ice. It's not safe. We've been warm. We've been enjoying it just to stay off the ice for a couple more weeks. In Meredith, there's no ice on Lake Winnipesaukee. A 10-minute drive away, parts of Wickwas Lake are frozen, but not enough for recreation. Right now, all the ice in New Hampshire is considered unsafe. Captain John Wimsad of New Hampshire Fish and Game says rain and warm weather have been setbacks for the ice this month. A slow start this season will delay ice activities. Parents need to be very concerned that they don't let their children venture out onto the ice during this Christmas break. Wimsat says ice should be at least six inches thick to walk on and about a foot thick for snowmobiles and all-terrain vehicles. You can't rely on what somebody else is doing out on the ice to be indicative of what is safe to do. As for White Park, Gill says it'll take at least a couple more weeks of freezing temperatures before they open the pond. This year we're definitely behind the ball game, so to speak, because Mother Nature's just been really upside down. Well, New Hampshire Fish and Game is especially concerned about the North Country area where there's a lot of snowmobiling. In Pittsburgh, they say First Connecticut Lake is still 40% open water. It's going to take some time before it's safe to venture out there. And if someone falls through the ice, they say call 911. Live in the studio, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9.